Good morning, good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. There we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm excited. I'm going to tell you something. I'm on fire ever since we started this intensified intercession first and foremost and then yesterday we started this new series on building intensity with spiritual for for spiritual witnessing and warfare and I'm telling you we had a war y'all better know how much of a war we are in because the devil ain't playing. He's trying to take us out and try to get you off kilter. He's trying to get you from, from, from focusing on the things of God and more on the things of the world. And you that is not something that you want to be focusing on. Especially in these last days, my brothers and sisters. Y'all, Jesus, I, I'll keep saying it because ain't nobody preaching it. You know, John the Baptist, John the Baptist was one too. He was a voice crying out in the wilderness trying to tell them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and we at No Limits going to just continue to keep speaking about you know being on point and being ready you know you got to be a soldier's always ready he's training preparing himself for, for the battle because you never know when he's going to be called into the battle are you ready for the battle are you ready for the battle can you, can, can you stand to fight the battle that the Lord has in store for you to do what task what position has God have in store for you and are you prepared and ready to perform that do you know your purpose do you know where God is wants to want you to go do you know what he's called you to do you got to know my brothers and sisters you got to know you got to know you got to know and which means that we have to be consistent in our prayer, consistent in our faith, consistent in our love, consistent in our caring and our giving. We are consistent, be consistent in our witnessing. How many people have you witnessed to this week? How do you mean people have you witnessed to, are, do you, are you believing God to witness to today? That's going to be the question. Be ready. You have to be ready in season and without. And out of season. Amen. You got to be ready in season and out of season. Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Those that's on, I see you. And those that's coming, you gotta gonna, you're going to have to catch up. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to become bold, to come boldly before your throne of grace, where we can obtain mercy. Because God, without you, we can do nothing, but with you, we can do all things. I thank you, Lord, because all things you said in your word, all things will work together for good for those that love you and are called according to your purpose. I thank you, Lord, for an anointing, Lord, anointing that's going to be to destroy yokes and break burdens in Jesus' name. I pray, oh God, and thank you, Lord, for answering prayers and answered prayers, the ones that have been spoken, the ones that have not, because you said that you know our thoughts are far off, and I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for knowing our thoughts are far off. I thank you, Lord, for continuously, Lord, looking to keep us in perfect peace. You said that you will keep us in perfect peace as our minds are stayed on you. Keep our minds stayed on you, Lord. Keep our minds focused on you, Jesus. Keep our minds moving in you, in Jesus' name. Because you said it's in you that we live. It's in you that we move. It's in you that we have our being. And I thank you, Lord. I pray traveling mercies, O oh Lord, for those people that's traveling this morning, God, on the highways and the byways. I pray, O oh God, that you protect their vehicles.
and the occupants of their vehicles in Jesus' name. I pray and lift up, O oh Lord, um, Mrs. Wu, the, the, the lady that was found dead in her car and her three children in the back seat, God, still alive. I pray for her family. I pray for her loved ones. I pray, oh God, that you that, 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 that you find out that, that it is revealed what happened to this woman, Lord, in Jesus' name. The devil is busy. And God, he's trying to take people out in ways that we cannot even imagine. From the oldest to the youngest. From the youngest to the oldest. He's trying to take us out. So, Lord, we need you in Jesus' name like never before, God, to answer prayers. To answer prayers on behalf of your children. To be answer prayers on behalf of your people. To answer prayers on behalf of your city. To answer prayers on behalf of your nation. To answer prayers on behalf of your, your country. And these other foreign countries, Lord, where that, that house your children. Your children that are called by your name. That are humbling themselves and praying and seeking your face. And turning from their wicked ways. You said that you will hear from heaven. You will forgive their sins and you will heal the land, heal their land. Thank you, Lord, for healing, healing the land. I pray, oh God, that you continue to bless your children. Bless them with, with all the provisions that they need, Lord, in Jesus' name. Because you said that you will provide all their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And you said you would do that if they seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So all these other things can be added unto you. On unto them. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you do this, Lord. I pray that you supply their needs. I pray for the ones, oh Lord, that are that are ready and they're seeking to be prepared. And they're ready, God, to go to battle for you. Because the battle is is real. The warfare is real. It is real. And God, the only way that we're going to know that is real, God, we we just have to look around. Look around what's on the televisions. Look around what's going on in the news. Look around what's going on in the political arena. Look around what's going on on, on, on certain television shows. Shows. Look what they're promoting. Look, look around. We have to wake up and 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 look around. And, look around. And, look around. and you'll see. The battle is real. So in Jesus' name, I pray, God, that you open up the hearts and the eyes of your children. I pray, oh God, that you do this. Thank you, Father, for healing Mr. Lilly. The doctors are dumbfounded to why he why he got healed so 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 why he got healed the way he did. But Lord, we know it's the effectual fervent, fervent prayers of a righteous man and woman that availed much. And we thank you for answered prayers. Now we ask, O oh Lord, that you continue to tighten them up. Tighten them, tighten them up in his mind. Tighten them up in the spirit. Tighten them up, Lord, so that he will, he will stay on course with you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bless our leadership. Bless the woman of God that you call to speak the word in these last days. Bless the woman of God who are, who are speaking the truth, that are praying for truth, that are not conforming to this world, but seeking to be the transformers, to help the people to transform by the renewing of their mind. Lord, we thank you in the, in the name of Jesus. And we bless you, and we glorify you, and we lift you up, and we worship you. We worship you. You say you seek those that worship you, that worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, raise up an army of worshipers in spirit, that worship you in spirit and in truth. I thank you, kind sir. I thank you for our wives. I thank you for those that's on the line. The, 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 the wives that's on the line, I thank you for their husbands. I thank you for growing them. I thank you for molding them. I thank you for making them. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We bless you, kind sir. We worship you. 
we glorify you. Because you're king, because you're Lord. And without you, there will be no other. We can do nothing without you. We don't want to do anything without you. So have your way. I call forth promotions this morning. In Jesus' name. I call for wisdom beyond your these people's years. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper. In Jesus' name. And thank you for healing. Mind, body, and spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Again. Well, brothers and sisters, I don't know. I hope some of you tuned in to uh, yesterday for a Throwdown Thursday Night Bible Study. If you didn't, you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. You missed it. It was a treat. It was a blessing. And I'm telling you, God is up to some things. He's trying to train us. He's trying to get us to get us in training in our faith. Understand this. You have to exercise your muscles. Exercise your muscle in prayer. Exercise your muscle in faith. Exercise. Praise the Lord. Yes, it was excellent. Exercise your muscle in faith. Exercise your muscle in wisdom. Exercise your muscles. If you don't exercise your muscles, then you're going to, your, your muscles are going to get flabby, and you're going to, you're not going to be you're not going to be able to fight this battle. Because this battle is serious, and the devil thinks that he has you. But you got to get in, get your get your your um, cardio up. You got to get your muscles up because God is in on the move. And he's on the move and he wants to use you. Are you ready to be used is the question. So I pray that you have a blessed, blessed day. Be careful out there. Be encouraged. In Jesus' name, I pray unexpected blessings come your way today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen again. You guys have a blessed day. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Be blessed.